It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from North Brewing Company and this is their automatic California Pale Ale. This beer is coming in at 5% ABV in a 330 ml can. It's available in Tesco. It's in the kind of ballpark figure of £5 for a pack of four cans. So without further ado, let's get this box open out get the can out show you the can i've seen the cans myself yet here we go so i've stuck these cans in my fridge they've been in my fridge for the best part of about 12 hours and um, what i like about these fridge packs and I've never really talked about this before, but it's something I've noticed. The cardboard on the outside actually kind of insulates the cans a little bit from the fridge. And I know that might sound a bit weird, like why would you want to insulate your cans from the fridge? But I think my fridge goes down to four degrees. I reckon this is about six degrees. It's slightly, it's almost as if the, the, the fridge can't penetrate the cardboard enough and they're always kind of slightly warmer than fridge temperature. But for beer, for the California Pale Ale, something like six degrees, seven degrees is perfect, the perfect temperature for this beer. So without further ado then, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. 4.5% ABV. So we have a straw coloured pale ale, one finger white head, good levels of carbonation, hazy straw coloured, and, and I, I'm getting the aroma from here, half arm distance I'm picking up kind of almost like a tropical pineapple and grapefruit aroma, it's got me salivating already. Um, it looks fantastic. It looks really good. I like how pale it is. Uh, let's get the aroma on this beer then. A uh, very small one finger white head. Yabba dabba do. That smells brilliant. is flying out of the glass the aromas if you could see the aroma it would be like like an old victorian terrace house chimney in the winter bellowing smoke out you know it, that kind of but but if you can imagine that if you could see the aroma of the beer it would be bellowing out of the glass Tangerine, orange peel, grapefruit, pineapple. Oh, it really is a full on aroma. I'm really, really excited for this. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yes, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a beer. What I like so much about this beer is the fact that it surprised me. It's completely surprised me. Not only are you picking up on the aroma, that fantastic crescendo of hops pumping out of the glass, but when you taste the beer, you get a real sense, a real sense of wafer and light biscuity flavours first and foremost. That, that it's quite a longing, it's quite a longing flavour actually. That kind of wafer biscuit flavour is kind of very prominent, very much there. So 
So five pound for the box works out at one pound twenty five a can. Uh, so I've noticed a shift. I've noticed a shift, especially kind of like second half of twenty twenty three. Uh, the supermarkets are shifting more towards these boxes. Uh, they might actually be five pound fifty two for ten pound. That was the deal kind of a, of a while back. Um, but I've noticed the, the top four supermarkets now they're starting to offer more of these boxes of beer rather than selling kind of individual. They still sell individual cans, of course they do. Um, you see a lot less individual three hundred and thirty milliliter cans. You see a lot more individual four hundred and forty milliliter cans. But the three hundred and thirty milliliters you're seeing them now being put over into into these four packs, these kind of fridge packs. Um, I was in uh, my local Morrison's just yesterday. And literally they, they changed the, the, the beer aisle up a bit as they do every kind of once every six months or a year. And there was a segment now, there's the, the, and, and it's kind of head height. It, it's kind of right in front of your eyes. Um, head height of these boxes of cans, not just from North, of course, but from many other craft breweries from around the UK. So there's definitely a kind of emphasis more towards buying these kind of boxed, boxed beers, which I'm okay. I'm absolutely fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. It means I got another three cans of this absolutely smashable, delightful, really, pale ale, American California pale ale. Really lovely and zesty, grapefruit, orange peel, tangerine. And then that lovely, that really lovely kind of biscuity, wafer, biscuit flavour that just, it's so longing, it's so kind of like it travels with you from the start of the taste into the middle, even into the end. And it's a constant battle between that lovely kind of light wafer biscuit flavours and then that lovely fantastic hop kind of crescendo of hops is, that, that, that's hitting you there. It's really nice, really nice. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Um, do they mention the hops on the can? So water, barley, wheat, hops and yeast. North Brewing Company, of course, based in Leeds, Yorkshire. Um, I've been to a couple of their bars, really lovely, in the Leeds area. Once in 2012, went to the original North Bar, Leeds, and then I was up in Leeds two years ago. And they got this fantastic, <coughs> this fantastic <coughs> large bar <coughs> in Leeds. But I'm going to rate this now. I'm going to rate it. I really, really like it. It looks good. It smells good. Tastes fantastic. Four point five percent ABV. Sunny day. Absolutely smash four cans of that in. Absolutely devour afternoon drink on a Saturday. Four cans of that. Lovely, fantastic. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows nine out of ten. So nine out of ten from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.